What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Javi and in this video I want to dive into what happened last week in the market and what I think you guys should do to come on on top. Okay, so recapping last week, on Tuesday there was a big market sell-off and then on Thursday there was an even bigger market sell-off that caused pretty much the whole stock market to have a big red day. The market was testing lows and lows and lows and I'm sure that brought a lot of investors headaches and panicking whether or not they should hold on to their stock or sell. So the reason why the market sold off on Thursday was due to a high increase in the yield for treasury bonds. So if you guys don't know what treasury bonds are, treasury bonds are a form of investment that someone can put money into a bank or a brokerage account and hold their money there for 5, 10, 20 or even 30 years and get a fixed rate um, of positive interest that is given every um, half a year. So what this allows is for investors to have a safer route of investing where there won't be that correction that they may see in the stock market. So this is more seen in the big players who have a lot of money and they want to park some money aside um, just so that their money can grow with inflation. All right, so what happened on Thursday was yield shot up to record highs and what that caused was all these big players um, saw that and they took their money away from the stock market and maybe um, took that money and put it into cash reserves or some maybe bought yield um, bonds that were going to yield a high positive rate. So usually a high yield percentage is for the 10 year is anything above 1.5% and for the 5 year is anything above 0.7%. Those are deemed as really good yield um, for bonds. So on Thursday, you act there was actually at one point um, on the 10 year, there was a 1.6% um, yield. So that's why the market was going, um, was having a big red day. So now that we know what bonds are and what happened on Thursday with the yield, there's got to be an explanation to why the yields went up. So quickly, the yields went up for a few reasons. The first one is there's a stimulus check coming up and the financial world likes to use bonds to pay for this stimulus check. So what they're doing is they are trying to entice people to buy bonds so that they can pass the stimulus and have the money for the stimulus. The second reason why the market had a crash is because they are seeing that as yields increase and the market is falling due to that, they want to park some money aside for a potential better buying opportunity. Obviously right now with the stock market at the rate that it's going and with earnings at such a positive rate and companies being super innovative and such a such a high amount of innovation companies to invest in, there's no surprise that there's a lot of people that want to invest in the stock market. So I know that a lot of big companies are seeing this market going down and they are pulling their money aside and having a cash reserve for a better opportunity to come. So then now the third reason why is with bond yields going up and nobody wanting to buy these bonds, then well they know that the market is going to make another bond that's going to have a higher yield so they're just waiting waiting on the sidelines until that yield a higher yield comes up because they know that nobody's buying them buying the yields that are the bonds with these high yields right now and they're saying all right well let me buy let me wait a little bit longer until these bond new bonds come up with a higher yield so i can get a, a better rate of return and then finally, the fourth reason is inflation. So there's a possibility of inflation occurring in the next few months to a few years. So with the yields being at where, where they are right now, some investors may think that, and it's true that maybe the yield percentage right now is not significant enough to come on on top um, 
after inflation. So obviously if inflation is 1.6%, let's say, which they were on Thursday, but inflation tends to, if inflation is 2.2% um, due to all the stimulus that's being passed, then you actually come out negative for 0.4%. Uh, so as an investor, and you know, as an investor that knows this, you are going to say, well, let me hold off a little bit. Let me wait for bond yields to increase so I can get a better rate of return and not come out negative. So that's pretty much a recap of what happened. There's a lot more um, nitty gritty that I'm sure you guys can look up online. But now what I think that you guys should do and what I did is buy the dip. So I know right now it's very hard to look at your portfolio and see yourself red um, and maybe think in, for the long term and say, okay, well, it, it's um, green if I bought a couple months ago, I might as well just sell and call it quits. But if you guys buy in on these dips, um, that these corrections, then you are actually getting in at a better price. Um, corrections don't last forever and if you buy in at these corrections then you are going to be a lot better off than if you were to sell now if you guys do not have any cash aside or don't have any funds that you can put into the market right now and I just recommend to just not look at the market right now and just hold there's a lot of reason to believe that the stock market is going to be very well off and it's going to be a very good form of investment in the next years to come if you invest your money in the right spot. So I truly believe that if you invest your money in innovative companies right now and buy into the dip, buy into these opportunities that you will be that this will pay off in the near future or you know long long term wise at least. Now, if we see more corrections like this because bonds continue to increase, then continue to add more. Obviously, don't add very heavily and at once because you may be more buying opportunities, but you can't time the market. So if you buy in really heavily one day and it goes down, well then just hold and then when you get another, some more money, then invest a little bit more because I know that this will pay off in the near future. So. With that said guys, I hope you guys got something out of this video and some clarification on what happened last week. Um, I do plan on posting another video on where I see the stock market going in the near future. With that said, I hope you guys got something out of this video. Make sure to like that button and subscribe and if you guys have any suggestions for any further videos, make sure to leave that in the comments. Alright, see you guys later.